Hello and welcome back to Kentucky. I wanted to do another race here. Uh, I think this is my th third race, maybe fourth. I've done it a couple times, just trying to get uh, the idea of Kentucky down. The past, I think this is the fourth. The past two races I didn't record. I think the second one I ended up winning the race, but it was really low strength of field, so um, kind of not much to see there. And then can't remember. It's been a while. I can't remember what happened in the third race. I think I just got a, like an average-ish finish. Or it was a good finish, like top five at it, like fourth or fifth or something. Green flag, uh, green flag. Okay, here comes your first some reason flag. I can't remember that one. It's <laughs> too well. But um, I just figured I'd record this one um, in case something interesting happens. <laughs> Never know. Uh, I didn't hit the scene where I wanted to. That's going to hurt this lap a whole lot. That stinks really like to get that seam to help it turn. Like this. That helps a lot. So we'll see more of a, like a greenish color. <laughs> One more lap. Hopefully we can get this next lap a little better. I think I could do better. Okay, that was a better one too. Still not my my absolute best, but I feel happy with that. Kind of a little soon there, maybe, but I think we still got got something okay here. It looks like it'll be within a tenth of my time best. So sweet. All right, that's a that's a pretty good one. So that is a 32-3. Just barely missed out on the 32-2s, and. Looks like the, the number two is pretty close to us. They might, may or may not be on a second lap still. Um, 11, about a tenth off there it looks like. All right, interesting. So this is a, uh, a what is it, Friday? <laughs> I guess it's technically Saturday morning race because it's past midnight. But still a fair number of people out here racing since it is the weekend. Uh, I want to say like 30 or so people maybe signed up. So I think this that split at least once. Still not crazy participation, uh, as you can see with our number one. But uh, not single split or anything either. Oh god, what am I doing? I'm like not paying attention. <laughs> Good thing that wasn't too it. All right, park it before I hurt myself. <laughs> Thinking about other things. Bring it to a stop, and we are waiting on the five. We are waiting on the five. Who left? I wonder if they're trying to do the back of the field glitch thing. I wonder if they're going to pop in here last second and be the reason that we had to wait. I don't know, but uh, I really, really started getting a good idea of how to save the tires here. I think uh, the race that I won that was. Uh, very low strength of field. Um, I did have the benefit of basically being alone the whole race. So I didn't have to race side by side or anything. And uh, I didn't have to push too hard. I kind of just rode the seam the whole way. Kind of just did my best to hit my marks. And I ended up with 80 something on both the right front and the right rear. So that was really good. I, th I think it was like 81 and then like 88 or something like that. Um, but still really good uh, compared to some of the numbers I've seen from myself and others. So that was good, but I don't think I pushed hard enough. It wasn't a realistic ex uh, expectation um, based on having some stronger drivers around us. So I don't know if I'm going to be able to hit that necessarily, but um, maybe get a, get a little closer to that than the in being having the 60s in the right front in the 80s in the right rear, like I have seen. So, I don't know. Just want to do another race. I love Arca. Arca is always so much fun. So I'll uh, hop in here, even though I guess with my fourth race. Okay, no, I think it's after you get four races, they start averaging your best championship points or whatever. I'm kind of keeping an eye on the championship a little bit. I'm in the top 10. 
uh, overall, I think, or at least I was recently. I don't know. It's uh, obviously that's all just for fun, but uh, it's it's fun to keep an eye on it. Like I said, it's just for fun, but I don't want to take it too seriously. But hey, let's see that, how how good I can do. So that was a big reason I bought Kentucky in the first place, because well. I wanted to race Arca this week. I really like Arca. And it was only $5 because this is the legacy version. And I didn't want to miss a week of Arca. So plenty of reasons, plenty of good reasons to drop the $5. And it ended up, uh, it has ended up being really fun. So very worth it to me. And I will always have it in the future now too. So sweet. Pardon me while I get a drink. We ended up on the pole. That's cool. Um, not by a whole mu a whole bunch though. So we got the two going to be pursuing us probably, and a couple of guys behind that aren't too far off. And of course, tire savings is going to matter uh, much more in the actual race. Of course, so can't really just base speed off of the qualifying times. I'm going to hope that I don't get run over, as I do try to be easier on the tires. I'm starting to doubt whether I even did a third race. Did I just do the two? I am so... <laughs> I think I did. I think I really did do those other three races. I don't have a good memory, apparently. Unless it's about something dumb like Pokemon name like every Pokemon. That's useful information. <laughs> right, we are rolling. The front of the pack. Hooray! Hopefully we'll get a good start. It is a first gear start, as I learned from previous races. Even though it's pretty, uh, it's a pretty quick shift, you definitely do get a much better launch in first gear, so that's what I'm going to be doing. And I'm probably just going to go early so that way I can maximize. Yeah, on your pole, bud. Thanks, man. Hope you have a good race. That was a nice one. Four, you too. Congratulating me on my pole. That's very nice. So, um, like I was saying, probably going to get a, an earlier start so that way I can maximize the jump I get. Because I think maybe... Not everyone's going to do first gear start, so I'm thinking maybe it will be pretty good here. I think I hear the two in, in first gear, though. <laughs> and we are off. Yeah, good job. I like that. About half a second up already. Self-spin! Seen some very talented people self-spin this week. Felt it for a moment there. I don't want to do that too much. Get on that scene. Turn with the throttle rather than the steering wheel. And uh, we'll get session last lap up here so we can be a little more consistent, hopefully. smooth. Dang, what? Did something happen? Already about two seconds back to third. I think something happened. All about positioning the car on that seam here, I think. That's what I've really been learning. Um, not only to save tires, but it's just kind of seems like the fast way around. Just to make sure you're in the right spot. Get the left sides on the left side of the that line gets it rotating pretty good and uh, it feels like you can make it through the corner pretty well so actually I'm, tr I'm remembering I gotta get on the right rear a little bit so maybe be a little bit more aggressive on the throttle 
get the car loose. I have to remember to do that a little bit. Yes. Okay. That feels pretty good. I think pushing it like that will uh, be faster without hurting the tires all too much more. As of right now, it looks like we've got competition in the number two. But then a nice gap behind them, so. We'll keep an eye on what he's doing back there. How uh, his car seems to evolve as the race goes on. Hopefully we'll be able to keep out here. And maybe we'll have a really good, exciting race by the time this one winds down. That'd be just as good, if not better. Trying to maximize the corners, drift out to the wall, all part of not turning the, uh, the wheel too much. Dragging the brake on entry to slow it down, stabilize the car. Alrighty then. This race has given me the vibes of that one single split race that I won but didn't record so far. Because the two is already falling back a little bit, but maybe it's because he's not pushing as hard as I am, and he'll come back. That was a but, well, we will see. We will see. Mm, I love the way the car turns there. I actually really like this track. I don't know, I've never been in, at this track with any other car. But with the Arca car, really enjoy it. Really enjoy it. As I, uh, I do with most mile and halves, they are my true home, <laughs> my racing home. Always feel most comfortable out here and always have the most fun racing on the mile and a half. Love Keep loose race cars and uh, having multiple grooves, you know, you leading to those exciting finishes. Oh man, it's good stuff. Rest in peace, Atlanta, by the way. <laughs> Along the same thought lines, turning a mile and a half into a super speedway. In other words, how to break my poor fragile heart. <laughs> but, oh well. There's going to be plenty of excitement with that place anyway. I don't know why I'm even talking about that right now, because <laughs> it's not exactly new news anymore. But uh, I just thought of it at this moment. We do have lap traffic ahead. Hopefully they will not be on our line. You can only hope. They do look pretty swervy though. Gonna have to approach this with caution. To avoid becoming a caution. I feel like I've used that line before. I'm sorry. <laughs> but uh, once I'm on that seam, kind of feel the freedom to get on the throttle a little bit more than you might think. It's, uh, then it starts turning a little bit. And uh, if I'm turning with the throttle, I'm not turning with the wheel. So, that's good stuff. Just gotta know how much pressure to give it, not to overdo it, get put myself sideways or anything. Just being gentle and uh, it'll be smooth. Here we do, we are approaching Mr. Gustavo Sunny. As they uh, kind of find their way all over the track. I think he might be giving me the bottom here though, so I do appreciate that if that is indeed what is happening now. No, it's not, it looks like, because it looked like he about got me. That was scary. Hurt my ex a little bit, but uh, we survived, I guess. Maybe I shouldn't have cut it that close, but I thought he was letting me by. And then he was still hung on our outside for a minute. I guess so. the is now 1.4 seconds. That's a thing. About a second and a half behind us. That's one thing I forgot to do is put my brakes all the way back. They're at 60 right now. But I like them at 57. Because that's still not even that much. Arca car doesn't let you put him back too far. 
Based on what I normally like, anyway. I usually put it pretty far back. Just to find yet another way to get the car turned without using the wheel. Alright, so we get closer to mid corner before getting on the throttle. Alright. Consistent laps, it looks like. That was a good two hundredths faster than the lap previous. Which is uh, pretty good. Assuming that the uh, tires were a fraction worse that lap. Hey, Gate, what are you doing? Looks like the two might be catching back up a little bit. That's interesting. They might be using their tires up now. They might have uh, been going easy. I feel like I've been going easy. Or maybe they've been going easier. Could get interesting again. I might uh, that last lap was at claw back at us a little bit, and uh, we might see what they've got for us. Very interesting. Still not even halfway, so. Ooh, frame drops. Oh my lord, stop it. I would prefer this not be a slideshow if possible. And in this panel, you'll see as we visited the lovely Enfield Care Center, scenic Enfield Care Center, after hitting the wall because we didn't know where on earth we were. Yeah, let's hope that's not the case. about a second back there. Alright, then this is interesting. The gap behind is now 1.0 seconds. He's gotta catch back up to us and then also save more tires than we do. While on his way back. Or you know not burn them off at a faster rate, because if he gets to me and burns his tires off equal, well then uh, he's still behind. We all still kinda have the advantage at that point. Maybe he's burning him off to get that time back. In which case he will fall off a cliff here for too long, I imagine. I'm still just being consistent and smooth, straddling the seam. All the good stuff I've been speaking of. He's back to second and a half now, so he might have been pushing it in order to catch up. We have to keep an eye on that so I know how to kind of... Uh, approach things here. You know what I need to be doing next. Oh yeah, it looks like he's falling off now. He lost like four tenths just in one corner there. Come on, eh? You've just done a 33.5. Not sure what's going on there. There's a car outside me. What do you want me to do? Yeah, you wrecked the guy earlier, and then you cut my nose down, and then you hit me again. That's twice. Oh my god. Tempers are flaring here in Everybody Kentucky. Oh, right, uh oh, we're coming up on someone slow too. Oh, I'm get off the track if you're that slow. The only way you pass me is by like slamming me to the outside. That's why I'm covering the inside. That still feels great, by the way. Feeling no, good. I thought you wrecked that dude earlier, and then you cut my nose down, and then you hit me again. So. No, oh, that's cute. This guy's on the mic, I hope he's paying attention, he knows I'm coming. You need to learn how to hold the line, bud. I know you're learning, but dang. I know how to hold my line, but thank you. The behind is now 1.8. The lap time was 33.5. Pretty far off pace. I really would have preferred he not do that, but he's just trying to be good. Doesn't know any better, I guess, but now we have to take the middle line. It's bad for the freight front, but one corner shouldn't be so bad. Just one bad corner. 
Plus, everybody else in the field's got to make his, their way around him. Anybody races with me, he knows I don't wreck nobody on purpose at all. We're back to it. Yeah, back on our favorite line. Found my uh, breaking points by watching Gavin's race. Those breaking points being, I'll talk about yeah, them as we go through this ball, lap. I'm sorry, but I, I look I, at that I, cone I down there. On the brakes, right about when I'm passing that down. cone. I mean, I'll look at the replay or whatever, but it ain't gonna change the fact that we got into each other, though. And then once yeah, we get down here, I usually turn in at the uh, safety like barrier. Yeah, you weren't in my mirror at the time. So. M4. And uh, keeping it within, you know, general distance around those places seems to do pretty well. So, I'm pretty sure I talked about it <laughs> the last time I did this, but thank you to Gavin for uploading his videos. Helping me learn. Kind of just uh, got an idea of what uh, racing this place would be like by watching him and then finding out what he was doing, using that as a starting point and then kind of adjusting to my driving style a little bit, maybe you know, adjusting like maybe uh, and maybe I can drive him a little harder, or maybe I can I have to drive him a little softer, you know? Just kind of adjusting based on my thoughts. Went a little bit too hard through the center there. What the fuck are you doing? Oh no, they are having a rough time back there. Um, yeah, just uh, adjusting based on my own driving style and everything, and that's kind of how I reach where I need to get to when it comes to learning a new place, or... You know, just going to a place, returning to a place for the first time in a while. Like every week, uh, it's usually been a while since we've last done a combo, if if not never done it before, so. Usually gotta re remind myself how a place works. And thankfully there's all kinds of great resources out there to help with that. One thing that I, I do for road racing specifically, and this is frowned upon a lot by people, but when I happen to a practice session, I'll throw the, uh, the racing line on, and everyone's like, oh my god, you what? Like, it's a good tool. Especially if I'm at a road course I've never been to before, I'll uh, just pop it on there real quick and see what the breaking points general area are. Usually it's kind of iffy whether they're optimal or not, because, you know, it's just a, a basic guideline, and I feel like if you use it that way to kind of figure out where the brake markers should be, and uh, how to set yourself up for the corners. It, it does a pretty decent job of doing that. And uh, I'll use that to help practice, and then usually about halfway through my practice, I'll turn it off and make sure that I've got my breaking points down and uh, am able to race without it, without it on, so that way I can hop into the race and not feel guilty. <laughs> sure, you could leave it on, and I did that early on, um, learning road for the first time. And uh, I don't really think anyone should have to feel bad about it. I would honestly rather someone have the racing line on and, you know, not miss their braking points and everything, rather than them turn it off and miss a braking point and destroy me from the rear or something like that. Like, <laughs> if you use the racing line, I, I might be against the popular opinion here, but I have no problem with it. I use it to practice. I turn it off during the races, so I would rather race with it off, and I feel like it's, I don't know, it's a simulator, I guess, kinda, and uh, feels a little bit more legitimate doing it that way, but if someone else feels like they want or need to use the racing line, hey, that's you. That's up to you, man. You can't, uh, they, they don't let you use it beyond a certain license class series anyway like I think it's like once you get to the B class races series and above then they don't let you use it so um, there you just straight up can't <laughs> but uh, never bothered me I think uh, it can be helpful 
can help people out. So that's my tangent on the racing line. I don't know how I got there. I'm just thinking of things to talk about because this is turning out like that uh, other race I did. Um, I'm not sure what the strength of field is here, but that was my tangent on the racing line. <laughs> I don't know. I'm sure there's different, differing opinions out there. Maybe there's a point, a perspective I haven't considered. Like, uh, I mean, if someone beats me and they used the racing line, like, hey, good for you, man. You still had to execute. You still had to get it done. And, uh, assuming we just had a great, clean battle, side by side and everything, then you got it done. So, I have no... <laughs> I have no ill will if someone's going to be using a racing lane. Right. Well, those are my thoughts on that. So We are approaching the end of this race, it looks like. Unfortunately, not too much going on. Um, two fell back after they pushed a little bit. We just stayed consistent. I, basically, when I run this race, I run the same line every lap, same intensity, and uh, the way it saves the tires. And... Uh, Getting around the track right there. Kind of Ooh, I kind of went a little bit too fast there, but uh, it seems to really bring you to nice places because it's all about that average lap time. You might be faster early on if you drive harder, but it's all about getting that average lap, lap time as low as possible. And uh, it's looking like we got this. Got this one pretty good. Two laps to go. Maybe we'll catch this uh, lap car here for the end of this one. Four seconds ahead. I think they might have damage too, maybe? Unless they got their car fixed. I remember they were uh, one of the participants in the shouting match. <laughs> they weren't really shouting, but they were upset about something. Which we will see in the incidents, but. I want to go. One more lap for the win. And we are going to do the same thing we done did every darn lap. <laughs> I don't know, maybe. Do I even want to upload this one? This is. I don't know, it's not like a single split race. Maybe I'll look at the strength of field and see if I want to upload it or not. But. I don't know, I, may, I, I feel like I had some interesting conversations here about like racing line and how to drive the track. Uh, I'll decide later. And whether you see it or not, <laughs> will depend on what I decided. So. Alright, we got it done. Thanks, great race, guys. Alright, not gonna do the burnout and stuff. We will pull it down here. I don't even know what this is. This is like an access road, I guess. I don't think there's. you have to use it to get on pit road, do you? I've never been down here. Yeah, it looks like you can enter the pits right there. Haven't had to do it yet. I've only raced here in Arca. Let's come on over here and park it. Boop. Good win, Colton. Love the channel, man. Keep it up. Oh my god. Thanks, man. That's awesome to hear. I don't hear that all too often, so I appreciate that. Yeah, no problem, brother. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Sean, what are you talking about, bud? <laughs> oh, is there... uh, Colton's got a YouTube channel. Oh my god, I'm famous. <laughs> I don't like advertising. Oh, yeah, I don't know what Sean was talking about. Yeah, he's got good content, man. Good channel. <laughs> I really appreciate that, man. That, that's uh, very nice to hear. I, I just uh, do my best. Put something out there, uh, maybe to help people out if they want to watch, or maybe laugh at me wreck or something. <laughs> Seriously, man, you do a good job like just commentating through it and giving people like advice and letting you know how the car is doing. I love it. <laughs> hey, appreciate it. Your check will be in the mail, by the way. Thanks for the advertising. <laughs> I was just kidding. No problem, man. No <laughs> problem. <laughs> it 
sounded like I had to, I told the guy to talk about me. Uh, 78, 87. John, you got the wrong person, bud, 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 bud. Uh, you must be talking about the eight car. What is this view, by the way? Freaking seeing the Matrix or something. <laughs> Why is that like that? Weird. Uh, let's see uh, something a little less ugly, maybe, <laughs> in the incidents, depending on what we see out here. Kool-Aid man. Like that. Ooh. That's less enjoyable, though. Get the right rear a little bit. The 11 does. Looks like the 8 might have just had trouble turning in. It kind of looks like they didn't quite get the turn in angle a little bit, and plus you kind of have to slow down more than you might expect here at Kentucky, so it looks like he maybe kind of was like taking that second line. Maybe that's what he meant to do, I don't know, but the 11 was expecting to be a little lower down, and I think that's how they, how they ended up coming together there. Just seems like honest mistakes seem like too big of a deal to me. So he's gonna hit the wall and exit maybe? Nah. Well, kind of. <laughs> Looks like he saved it and then kind of just found it a little bit after the corner. Let coming up. Ooh. Looks like he hurt himself just trying to keep a keep off of him there. Looks like he gained uh gained on him a lot more than expected and end up in his left rear. Those guys have found uh, found each other a couple times already. Oh no. 12. Oh, he almost saved it and then ended up down there. That looks like loose off the corner. Maybe watching that other teal car. Oh man, they're twinsies. <laughs> it's like the same car. What's that? Are they a team? <laughs> that was a sympathy spin, maybe. Because uh, he's getting loose. Off the corner. And then he's watching him getting the same loose. That's really interesting. 12's not able to save it, though. Almost. Not quite. And, uh, fortunately, he's knocked his wheels out of the line. So, that stinks for him. Two. Yeah, that definitely looks like they were pushing harder, maybe. Trying to keep up. Or at least, uh, maybe that corner, they went pretty hard. He's got the right idea, though. He's down there in that seam. Maybe just uh, throttling up just a bit too much. Maybe that might have hurt him a little bit. Oh man, did these guys find each other again? They must be really similar speeds or something, and they just can't get away from each other. And kind of turns it down on him there. So it looks like he has the nose on him. He just kind of comes down and gets him. I would probably call that one on the 11. They still don't wreck wreck though. I mean, he lost a whole bunch of time there, but he didn't spin out and hit the wall or anything. 13 with the baby tap of the wall. Pretty X -E, that's a classic. Into the wall there on entry though. That darn safer barrier got him good. Pulls, oh, that stinks. So, 8 has to be lower on the track because the guy pulls it off the wall a little bit. And this guy's flying. I guess because he... Well, 8 kind of maybe overdrove the corner and ended up there in the first place. And he kind of gets like a crazy strong run off the corner here. And then they just found each other. 8 had to be down there. That's just a bad set of circumstances, honestly. Maybe 6 can be a little more careful. Seeing that... Uh, like kind of just having the situational situational awareness, seeing like the nines off pace, the eight is obviously going to cut down there, and as much as he probably doesn't want to, probably has to lift off and kill that really good run a little bit, but understandable. That's reluctant, but him not lifting off at all kind of ends up having him meet the eight, and uh, that was un an unfortunate set of circumstances. That's mostly what I would say that was, um, but. I could be wrong. These are all just my perspectives. My perspective, rather. And, uh, maybe there's something I'm not seeing. Speaking of not seeing, I think the 13 did not see the 9. See, they were walking through this door, and then they shut their foot in the door. <laughs> they tried to close the door. 
on the nine, but their footman caught in the door, is what I'm trying to say here. That's the stupid joke I'm making. <laughs> and uh, that was not so great. Thing is, too, like, I feel like you... Obviously, you want a good angle on the corner here, but I feel like it's, it, like it's a little bit less necessary than maybe some other tracks. Like, obviously, I like to turn in, like, right here. But if I'm, like, right here, too, I feel like, you know, if you slow down just a little bit extra more, as long as you kind of point yourself to end up in a position where you can be on that seam, I feel like you could still have a decent corner. So I don't feel like it's as necessary as it is at certain places. So that's why, like, taking that real risk to close the door on that guy so close... Like, even if he had cleared him, it would have been really, really close, obviously. So I don't know if I even make that uh, decision. I think I'd probably just go ahead and say, all right, I'll give him the room. And uh, just finish off in the corner. What happened here? <laughs> 11 just got up on the 12 much faster than he expected, maybe, and that wasn't very good. Maybe that, uh, that this turquoise kind of color car... The one that's out on track, maybe has some damage that made him slow, maybe that's why he caught up to him faster than expected, I don't know. Eleven certainly did not succeed in avoiding him, though. He's been in a lot of stuff, haven't he? Two X, really? But maybe he didn't have more than that, but maybe some of those smaller contacts weren't regist registering as anything. Six has killed his right front, looks like. That's what that corner looks like to me. Two's getting really tight. Gotta get on that right rear, if you want the thing to last. But that definitely hurt him. Still finished second, though. Good run from him. Is that it? All right. Not too bad. Uh, throughout the field, we had some... We had some wrecks, but nothing too crazy. So we get the win here. I guess I'll go ahead and upload this one. I know I haven't had too many races this week, so I guess I'll go ahead and throw it up and uh, continue to celebrate racing at Kentucky for the first time, because I have really enjoyed it. I've had a great time. So, I'll uh, let you go here. 7887, I can be pretty uh, happy with that uh, in terms of tires. I feel like, um, you know, if I go any softer and, uh, you know, if I'm in the 80s again, like I was the other race, like, I don't need the tires, you know? Uh, the race is short enough where you don't really need to save them all that much. I feel like this is pretty good right here. I'm happy with how that is. So that's that. Thanks for watching uh, another race here, Arca, Kentucky. I hope uh, you don't mind. I did the same one again. <laughs> it's just lots of fun. So, and that's uh, that's my goal here on I racing. Just have some fun. <laughs> so I hope you had fun watching for what it was, and uh, I hope you have a good rest of your day. I'll see you next time. Have a good one.